Honey, I'm home. Honey. H honey? Where is she? Honey? Are you in the bedroom? H honey, why is the door locked? Is it... Is it safe out there? Is what safe? Of course it's safe. It's just me, tu corazón. I'll open the door. Dios mío, you've been crying. What happened? Oh, Ramon, it was awful. I was so scared. Uh, shh, shh, Ramon is here. Well, what has gotten you so worked up? It, it was El Nahual. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Dear Ramon, where are you going? How much did he take? How much did he take? How much what? Why are you in the kitchen? Two, three, four, five. It's all, it's all still here. What's all still here? The cheese? It's all still here. <sighs> of course it's all still here. I chased El Nahual away with a broom when it crawled up on our porch. I was just... Yeah, I was just worried that it had stolen the cheese. You were worried that he had stolen the cheese? Yes. What a scare. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> you know, dear, that El Nahual is primarily known for... Two things. Now, what's that? El Nahuel. Traditionally, it limits itself to two activities instead of murder. Stealing cheese. Uh, I know. That's why I was in here counting the cheese. <laughs> and and the... raping women. Raping women. R right. R right. Well, uh, I mean, did he? Uh... No, he didn't. Thank you for your concern. Oh, honey, it's it's just that I... Was... It's just that upon learning that El Nahuel, the notorious rapist werewolf, had been on your property while your wife was home alone, your immediate reaction was to check and see if your cheese collection was okay. Well, I had bought a bunch of cheese for the dinner party we're having tomorrow. Oh? I was worried uh, he might have stolen it. I mean, it's expensive cheese. I mean, look at this one. It's eighteen ninety nine a pound. Yeah, and you bought a quarter pound of it. Well, the quantity I bought doesn't not make it expensive cheese. Four seventy-five. You spent four dollars and seventy-five cents on this cheese. Uh, look, honey, it seems to me that if El Nahual had, you know, raped you, if he had what? You know, if he had raped you. Why the hell are you saying it like that? If he had raped me, if I had gotten raped. Who the hell talks like that? I'm just trying to be sensitive. Sensitive? About what? Well, about your theoretical rape. Stop saying it like that. Okay. Well, if it had, you know... Raped me. I just think that you might have mentioned that right away. You know, before I checked on the cheese. Oh, you did not it just... It just seems like if something that important had happened that you shouldn't hesitate to tell your beloved husband. Well, I will just keep that at the forefront of my mind if I ever get raped. Make sure to tell Ramon about it right away so he doesn't focus on checking on the cheese. Please do. I would appreciate that. And if it happens while you're out of the house, I'll wander over to the fridge to do a quick cheese inventory so I can update you on both statuses as soon as you get back. That would bring me peace of... Hey, are you being sarcastic? Of course I'm being sarcastic. Well, look, dear... Why must we fight about such things? Uh, cheese, rapists. Uh, the odds are we will never see El Nahual again. I know, I know. And so if you were to be raped, it would most likely be by someone with no interest in stealing our cheese afterwards, thus rendering this post-rape inventory system we're discussing irrelevant in the majority of cases. Damn it, Ramon. Wh what? I can't believe how insensitive you are. <laughs> hey, I didn't determine the popular beliefs about El Nahual. I mean, cheese is listed first. It limits itself to stealing cheese and raping women. You're trying to make it seem like rape is its first priority, and that is just like talking about Costello and Abbott, or Oates and Hall, or Sever versus X. What the hell am I doing with my life? Oh, I'll get that. Hola, this is Ramon. Carlos, how the hell are you? Oh, no, you weren't seeing things, my friend. Yeah. El Nahual, he's on the loose in the neighborhood. Gave us quite a scare. 
No. No, it didn't manage to. Oh, yes. Yes. Such a relief. Did not lay his hands completely untouched. Thank thank God. Yeah, all five of them, even the expensive one, yes. Damn it, Ramon. Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to trying it too. They say it's they say it's very grassy. All right, Carlos, you stay safe, amigo. See you tomorrow. What's that? Oh, you want to speak to Oh, that that is very kind of you. Well, yes, it's been a traumatic evening. That would that would be reassuring. Your voice will bring comfort, my friend. It always has. A dear, Carlos would like to speak to you. Oh, well, that's so sweet of him. At least some people have their priorities lined up correctly. Uh, I was talking to the expensive cheese. What? Expensive cheese here? Oh, well, hello. Oh, you don't say. Well, he didn't bother me, big boy. Uh, looks like he'll have to go with plan B, or should I say plan R? <laughs> it's less than $5 worth of cheese. Cheese. <laughs>